Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the full moon. Now, keep in mind when you are doing, <coughs> excuse me, the full moon um, manifestations, and this is an ending of a cycle for a new beginning to come in, and on the new moon is when you will have the cycle. So this is the ending of a cycle for this, wanting things to come into fruition for yourself. So make sure you manifest all good things for all people involved. Nothing nasty to anyone because that is classed as black magic, okay? <laughs> and we don't want to have that come back in karma. So for the collective, for the full moon reading, let's see what's coming in for you for your fruition to come forth. What is your person's character like here? Now keep in mind, this is a general reading. And I am only reading in the uprights if you see me flipping the cards around, okay? Three of Wands, really? So this may be some troubles ending here. So for this new beginning to come in, maybe you've had some disappointments, maybe you've been down or troubled with some things, perhaps you've had uh, some obstacles to jump through, some hoops or some sort of maybe technology problems or car problems, could be just about anything that's kind of, you're kind of feeling like, what's going on here? All these things are happening all at once. And it may not just be one thing that's happening. There may be like two or three things that are all coinciding together. And it just seems like an awful lot because of the different things that are happening in your life. Well, I'm glad to say those things are ending for you. So any troubles that you've been having are going to be ending for you, okay? Now, with the Three of Wands, this is that fire energy. So your person may have blonde, red, or light brown hair, dark brown eyes, could be blue or green as well. Their skin may be fair or freckles, okay? Their height might be a medium height, and they may be lean to muscular. They may work out or go to the gym, or they are uh, fit from their job, what they do for a living, what's on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, which is air. So this person may have uh, air in their chart, or this could be you. This is technically for your person, though. This is kind of how I'm reading this. This is the character of your person. So flip it, switch it, whatever you have to do for it to resonate. But your person has fire energy first foremost. So Leo, Aries, or Sag. And then they have air energy in maybe their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, which is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay. Now... This person is very creative, maybe likes to be around uh, groups of people, maybe has gone through some growth themselves. Um, they're very good at self-expression. They're very optimist, optimistic, um, lighthearted, and maybe really good at communication with that being the air energy, which is all about that um, communication, okay? Uh, thoughts and the ability to be able to talk to people quite easily. We call that the gift of gab. <laughs> and gab to anybody. Anybody is, there's no obstacles whatsoever about walking up to somebody they don't know and just striking up a conversation. That is the gift of gab, okay? Now, this, this ability to express themselves as well and not have any troubles really saying what they're feeling or what's on their mind. And they say it in a nice way and very charismatic type of charming way, okay? Now, with the Queen of Swords, this is somebody that... <clears throat> Is very intelligent, very powerful, and independent. And with the Three of Wands, with the Queen of Swords, I'm kind of getting that 
maybe you've talked to somebody about all the troubles you've been having, okay? Maybe this person has disappointed you in some way. Maybe they didn't keep that information to themselves. This is your person that we are talking about. So they may have expressed something to somebody and they didn't keep that to themselves. They may have blabbed that to other people. All right. And I find that sometimes people um, can't wait to be the first one to tell other people about the gossip around the town, right? And especially if it's in a small town, you're going to find that. Um, <laughs> it's almost like a race to see who can tell the story first. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, I don't understand it myself, but whatever. Okay, let's see. How are you going to meet this person how, when, or through who might you meet this person? I don't know, might be at a courthouse. Now, this is all about change. So there might be a change involving court here um, with maybe something ending for somebody, right? Because this is all about something coming to an end uh, with the full moon. These are all things that are coming, wrapping up for the new cycle to begin, right? Mm, somebody may be in bad health due to this uh, issue about court just from anxiety or depression or worry or it may not be something they really wanted and it could be affecting their physical health. It may be very unhealthy for them to be doing this or maybe it is a job that is really taking its toll on them. With the number four, let's see, that's kind of like that fundamental values and stability and structure, right? So whatever this was for this person, it was their structure and stability. It had to do with maybe some values they had. Maybe they weren't, may, I'm kind of getting moral values. So maybe if they were a lawyer, maybe they weren't willing to go down a certain road with a client or Something along those lines. The straight up is what I'm getting there. <clears throat> okay. So we, now this king is coming up for me. I don't know if this is a message for me um, for the readings, but this is keeps coming up. This one, two, three, three, one, one, two, three, three, two, one, one, whatever the case, it involves zero, one, two, three, okay? Those four numbers, okay? And I know zero isn't on here, but I have been seeing that on the clock as well. And this is very significant. This could be your angels, ancestors, or spirit guides trying to get your attention to give you a message. So by all means, please plug this into Google for angel messages. Put love in there because usually I do love readings here. So, I mean, I kind of talk about everything that comes in, um, but we do focus a lot on love, especially lately. Uh, it seems to be the favorite. So... Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. <laughs> Courthouse again. So there may be a decision that may have changed here regarding somebody's health. Perhaps they weren't able to go to court again because of their bad health. Maybe, um, maybe lost their job or had to do something else. There was a change here with the number five again. Now, whether that's some type of freedom having to do with instability or conflicts, but the positive side to that is to do that adapt, being able to adapt and look at it as an adventure and look at it as something that you can be curious about. Get some curiosity into what's coming forth instead of it always being maybe the negative Nancy or um, something that's always going to be terrible, right? So what's going to happen when you meet this person? And they're really going through something here. Now, if this is you that's going to court, then you're going through it, but you're person is here showing up in their character now because they are fire energy and swords with the aquarius gemini and libra 
And then the Leo, Aries, or Sag. If they're Sag, they're very adventurous, social. They can be very blunt, um, but very philosophical, okay? Now, if they're an Aquarius, they're very analytical, they're humanitarian, a little unconventional, and very independent. If they are a Leo, they're vibrant, assertive, they're generous, but can be a little self-centered sometimes. If they're an Aries, they're very passionate, confident, determined, but can be a little impulsive. Now, if it's a Gemini, they're very good at communication, which I'm kind of picking up here with the quick wit and the um, versatile type of discussions. They can pretty much talk about anything, but they can be a little inconsistent at times. And if it's a Libra, charming, social, very diplomatic, but can be indecisive as well. Did I lose anybody or leave anybody out? I don't think so. So those are some of the characters coming through about some of these zodiac signs. Now let's see what happens when you meet this person. Now you might meet them in a court house, see, because that keeps coming up strong, which is like this change may involve your new person here. Temptation. Think carefully about the situation. It may look like ice cream, but with what you're going through right now through court, is it a good idea to be tempted to do something that might jeopardize what you're doing in court in the first place? Okay. Signs. Watch for the signs leading to true love. Now, the signs here, I would be looking up these numbers. Absolutely, because one, two, three... Two, three, three, two, three, three, one, three, one, two, three. I'd be doing up as many combinations as I could because each message is going to be a little different. And it may really tell you something that's really going to hit home for you. Past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So you may have a past life connection with this person. When you meet this person, you may feel like you've known them forever. Now, we have a lot of different soulmates. And past life soulmates um, usually have... Um, <laughs> a sexual chemistry to them, okay? Because you feel like you know this person already, right? And <laughs> usually when it comes to a past life connection, you'll find that you're very unique or special to one another. Uh, it's, you're, you're way different than anyone else that you've ever met. Okay, they're way different. And maybe you'll feel very complete when you're together. Uh, like you've been missing this piece until up till the time you meet this person. All right, tell me what's on the bottom of the deck. Remarkable. Rem blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my mouth doesn't want to go as fast as my brain is going here. But these messages, now notice everything remarkable about your relationship. So there may be some, I'm seeing wedding rings here. Maybe you're looking at what type of song to walk down the aisle. <laughs> now, I feel like you're going to notice a lot of different things that really are check off your list about what you're looking for. They... They tick all the boxes, right? All right. It might give you something to look forward to I'm getting here. What are some of the obstacles that you might be facing when it comes to this person that's coming in for you? As it sits right now, be careful not to be tempted away by this person in your certain circumstances when it comes to this court thing that you're doing. Yeah, uh, detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. And 
focus on what you're doing right here because I feel like this is important and it's going to really affect your livelihood it's kind of what I'm getting here self-love yeah there's that self-love coming in really looking after yourself and what's important right now for you and healing whatever this is that you got going on especially if it has something to do with bad health indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you now you may have shown that you you, you may be like this person when you meet them or there's this undeniable connection that you can't help but um show each other in a sense but keep in mind everybody else can see this too this connection so i feel like you kind of had to pull away from this and detach and you may be wanting to make a, a <laughs> some type of decision but you're not able to at this time there's too many important things going on here yeah maybe when you're able to escape and once you've had a chance to reflect to gain that clarity and you may need to escape to get away because of your health and the things that are going on in your life in order to really heal before you come together the fact that you meet i feel like this is you're going to see one another again you're going to be pulled back together guilty i feel pain for the damage i've caused so there may have been some things that happened here now you may feel guilty collective because of maybe you had to brush this person off um maybe even act like you weren't um, available or weren't really serious about them only because it's the right person the wrong time okay so let's see what maybe their confessions or fear are fear is i wish i could be fully honest with you and maybe this person can't really get into what this is all about and feeling guilty about that could be very much so that wanting to discuss how they feel but not able to because of can't have any information getting out i don't want to be who i used to be you deserve better and they may think that you are someone different you see that this person is very special this new person coming in maybe they're going through it and this is how they're feeling and they brush you off okay collective so switch it flip it however it happens for you okay let's see anything else for fears or confession all right i'll take these two Ooh, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here and that is kind of indicative when it comes to that um past life soulmate i was talking about that sexual chemistry i wish to be like you and maybe you're handling things really well or this person is and you may think wow i wish i could do that too right or they look up to you or you look up to them vice versa however it is for you what's on the bottom of the deck here why do i feel this why now <laughs> you may be wondering maybe why there's so much chemistry coming through here and when you especially maybe if you're going through it or uh, this might be this person that's feeling this and they're really going through it and it's like why why can't i forget about this person or why can't i deal with this person right now like you might think it's unfair almost i'm getting here all right what's the outcome here and we'll do some tarot messages and then we'll do an after tarot there it is pay attention to red flags okay so there may be some flags coming up here that they're just kind of brushing you off maybe you feel there's somebody else in the picture oh wedding so maybe they are married maybe they're getting a divorce maybe this isn't 
Um, I'm kind of getting maybe somebody's dragging this court case out uh, to delay, delay, delay. They may know that this person wants to be with you or may have talked about you or mentioned something or they just know there's someone else in here. Maybe they caught the signs of the two of you meeting and know that this person would like you or <laughs> that has something along those lines. Wedding is here though. They could be married. Ooh, and that could be what's going on here. Children. Yeah, they may have children together. They may be married. They may be having to go through some type of divorce. Maybe somebody's sick. Maybe it is a will or an inheritance here. Call in your soulmate. So if this is really your person, call them in. Um, I feel like they may help you heal. And you do need that self-love. So love yourself first, absolutely. And this could be once you've healed to call them in when you're ready. And I feel like they will be there or this person will. Flirt, yeah, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I kind of feel like there might have been some flirting going on here. It was something that couldn't be helped. There's a lot of sexual chemistry I'm kind of getting here. So let's see here about this Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Fire, we're looking at March, April. Maybe when you meet this person, Aries season, maybe they're in Aries. Kind of feel like they may be in Aries. That's kind of coming up more than anything else. They're very passionate, confident, determined, and a little impulsive, right? Very creative, lighthearted. But I feel like, don't try to fool this person because I feel like they can see um, when you're telling the truth, whether they're blindfolded or not. Um, they may just know things. Uh, <laughs> they may have gifts. And it could be very telling um, that they know whether you're telling the truth or not. They, you, they can tell if you're telling the truth or not, okay? Lovers, yeah, this is a love connection. So definitely with the lovers, they could have Gemini, which is that air. So we have Aries Gemini person here, very good at communication and quick wit, right? And with the lovers, that's number six, air. So it could be January, February, you meet this person first when they go to court the first time. Maybe you see them again at court the second time. Maybe this person works at the courthouse. Maybe they are just there to get divorced or inheritance or sign things. Maybe having to sign their signature. Now, hangman here, okay, in the bottom of the deck that I see. Um, with the hangman, okay, this is somebody that's going to take their time, okay? They're going to pause and reflect. They have awareness, right? That awareness, whether they're blindfolded or not, they're going to know. They're going to see through things, right? Okay, they're going to see the bullshit if there's bullshit to be had, okay? Now, I'm kind of getting with this. This is kind of unexpected. It may be faded and this has to do with these cycles ending so this person's going to definitely take the time especially when it comes to love to go with their intuition really is what i'm getting here they're going to be cautious i feel and especially if they're coming into some type of money here when are you going to meet this person now it might be at a hospital as well there might be some things that you're going to see somebody that has bad health. This may not be your person that is in bad health if it has to do with inheritance. They might be at the hospital when this person dies. Maybe there was some court things that they needed to have notarized. Temperance. Okay. And with temperance, hmm. 
at Sag Fire Solar Plexus for your chakra. This has to do with personal power and self-esteem. This person knows who they are. They know self. They're confident. They believe in themselves here. Okay. Fire energy, Sagittarius. So they could be a very adventurous, social, philosophical, and a little blunt. They're going to tell you how it is. Okay. Now they may have a lot of fire in their chart. That's kind of what I'm getting here. But let's see. Um, five of fire. Hmm. July, August. You may have met this person in August of this last August that just passed as the first time. You may be seeing them again somewhere else, maybe online dating. I'm kind of getting social media here. Could be watching you. Maybe they know where you live. Oh, with temperance, I mean, this is harmony and peace. This is a life purpose. This is a journey and being in the flow here. fire energy yeah they might have red hair it might be a redhead or blonde huh. I still feel like you're going to meet this person sooner than later now I think January was the closest time that you might be meeting this person. And it may be, oh, look at that, a passionate new beginning. If you've already met this person in August, you're going to be meeting up with them again. Now, this could be somebody from your past. It may be a past person. The past lives, for me, it can be of this lifetime or many lifetimes that you encounter this person, okay? They may be your baby mama or your baby daddy, so take it however it resonates for you, but they're definitely wanting that ace of wands, that passionate new beginning, new opportunity with you. They see a lot of potential in maybe having a relationship with you. They see that maybe you have a lot of independence and, not, and you're very authentic. Tell me about the past life. The star. Uh, this is about team player, teamwork, team togetherness. This is about, um, I feel like with these two together, this is healing that um, to come back as friends. Perhaps there was a bit of a disagreement here kind of getting here with that this is maybe there's some wisdom that you need to know or some type of collaboration they want or some shared goals or ideas that this person wants they want to cooperate and in any case they want to heal this as well and they may be seeing you on social media that self or that recognition all right um i was gonna say selfie but um Maybe you have a channel or some type of podcast or something that they have seen you on or heard you on. They're wanting to heal this, whatever this is that's happened between the two of you, whether it was a breakup or just a disagreement or if you're just friends. Maybe you've always been in the friend zone and maybe they want to know if you'll go into something more romantic with them. What are they guilty about? Why are they feeling guilty? 
Ten of Wands. Okay. They they may be carrying around this burden of whatever has happened between the two of you. If this is a past person, they're wanting to lay all that down. This is an ending of those things with number 10. If they've completed some cycle here. And remember, with all endings, a new beginning is uh, available now when things come to an end there for their burdens, right? They're willing to put all that down and come in to try to heal this. What's the sexual desire? <laughs> ah, six of pentacles. Okay, they're wanting that equal give and take, if you will. <laughs> Now, this is <laughs> about that balance, right? And sharing. <laughs> Very nice. It's like showing your gratitude and sharing your money, having that kindness to one another, sharing that kindness, knowledge, and time, really, right? The more you give, the more you receive type energy is kind of what I'm getting there. <laughs> Think of however that is for you. <laughs> Tell me about this wedding for the outcome, please. Yeah, that Ace of Wands came back out again. <laughs> now, this could be a birth of a child because we do see children here. So they may want to have children with you. They may, they may want to have a wedding with you. They may be looking for red flags, but I don't feel like you're going to show this person any red flags. I feel like they may have been hurt. And it may be a little quick coming in here. That may be why they want to take some time to get over things. But I do feel like they're willing to put down this stuff. I feel like they feel you are very healing collective. And you may heal one another, especially if you are having some type of soulmate connection. Wow, very passionate. There's that sexual chemistry again and sexual desire. There's it's undeniable pull between the two of you. A lot of um electricity I'm getting. One more. Two of Wands. Wanting to plan. Now, usually the Two of Wands is my individual success. So you may have been very successful individually, and maybe you both have had your own individual success. And I'm kind of getting that even though you've had the success, you might be wondering what is next for you, okay? Because this cycle has ended, and now you're like, now what? <laughs> Where do I go from here now, right? So let's see what your intuition says about this person, this fire energy. Ooh, the high priestess. They may be very cis, um, mysterious. Uh, I kind of feel like they might be um, very gifted, and enlightened. They may be very secretive about what they do. Not a lot of people know much about them. There's that mystery. And I'm kind of feeling very alluring or they may have a lot of, uh, they may like romance, okay? Uh, they may even like to, I feel like there's foresight here. They can see. There's that seeing here, okay? They're going to know when you're lying, okay? That energy of being able to see even when they have their eyes closed, right? So <laughs> now that was your intuition or was that their intuition? I can't remember what I said now. Hmm. The other person's, is that you? I can't remember. What was your intuition or what was your person? I think this was you. You're going to use your intuition when it comes to this. Remember, there are, you're probably looking for the red flags too. I feel like you both may have been hurt before. Uh, this person, 
I feel like maybe walk away uh, if there's any moon type of energy here, any secretive energy or um, secrets or kind of keeping things from one another has to be all in is kind of what I'm getting. Eight of Cups. I feel like they they have no problem with walking away if they're not going to, if, if you're not their person, they're going to know right away and they're not going to waste any more time because I feel like they're really looking for their person, okay? And with the Eight of Cups, this is walking away and abandoning the situation, okay? Maybe an emotional setback that they feel, maybe they get triggered, or they may see this as unhealthy or a bad situation and need to escape. So I, I kind of getting more than anything, if you're not straight up with this person, because I feel like they may be straight up with you and they may expect the same kind of communication back. Okay. So just be truthful and, um, just say it how it is. Don't sugarcoat it. Just, you know, I don't know about being blunt, but I mean, you can definitely be kind when you say things, but definitely be straight up with this person. Don't play any games. They're, they're not, they'll just walk away from you if that's the case. I'm really getting that they don't have time for all that crap. So maybe their biological clock is ticking or maybe just what they've been through. They're not, they're, they're not into all the little games that some people play. So anyways, collective, this is your full moon reading. Oh, shoot. I forgot. We got these. Wait a minute. <laughs> Put on the brakes. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Queen of Swords and the lovers uh, definitely are giving themselves love right now. And they are wanting to come forward to give you that offer. They are a romantic person with this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is loving the idea of love, right? And love is in the air with that, I feel. They're definitely heartfelt romance, charming, <laughs> an offer of some sort here with the lovers here what's the courthouse yeah ending up with the victory here whoever your person is they end up getting a victory when it comes to court the star ah this may be you the queen of wands now you could be a masculine just showing up in your feminine side you're very attractive wanting to heal this person wanting to heal this with you and cooperate with you be a team player with you wanting this connection tell me about this ten of wands yeah that equal give and take with the six of pentacles they're very generous as well i feel like they're wanting to um take care of you is kind of what i'm getting not that you can't take care of yourself but they they have that um nurturing side they even though they're the fire they're the doer right they like to do things for people yeah look at that passionate new beginning okay they are definitely wanting it and why do i feel this why we had the six of pentacles which is cooperating with the sexual desire so let's see aha they want to work this out and look at that, they're coming in as the King of Pentacles. So they may be just fine when it comes to their own money. Like I did say you both may have your individual success, right? So ooh, ooh, what do you want to tell me? Ah, they are picking your cup here. They see you as a very happy-go-lucky kind of person. Kind of whatever they want to uh, speak or clear up here it's reflecting it's showing up now of what this is so you will find out whatever they were keeping from you if this is the person from your past and if it isn't they're going to open up about what happened here when you first met this person okay what's the two of wands here yeah the hangman this is taking that time seeing and reflecting maybe 
finding out a little bit about you or looking you up or finding your channel or something with social media I'm getting, right? Maybe you end up talking to this person online. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. What is your intuition saying after the tarot? Hmm. There is two more cups here, even though there may have been some discord here with the five of cups, some type of loss or sadness or emotional baggage that was in the way, some disappointment that they had with you. And this may have been this disagreement that they had. This is hatching this out. Now, whatever they may want to tell you may end up hurting you, but you may still believe in love and see those two cups behind you and maybe even give this person a chance or you're not giving up on love and despite this working out you still see that you have love uh, coming in for you what is this person's intuition saying maybe you walked away from this person before or they walked away from you and now they are holding on to you for dear life wanting to never let you go again so i feel like there may have been some karma if this is a past person if this was past life they learned a huge lesson in their last life now that they've come together with you again i feel like they may be remembering her past life almost like there's something there when it comes to a past life connection, like you've known each other forever. And it's quite unique, actually. So take it however it resonates for you. And yeah, this time we're done. <laughs> so please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. You can definitely do donations if you'd like in the description box below with the PayPal account. Do the super thanks. I right, thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> um, also, just watching the videos certainly helps the channel, and I certainly appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch the videos. I hope I am helping someone out there for some type of insight into something going on in their life. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. Later.